Hello and welcome. I am that British guy. Now, E3 is looming near and we have just received word very recently from Hideo Kojima himself and Kojima Productions that Death Stranding will not be making an appearance at E3 this year. Wow, that's, uh, that's a bit of a surprise really, given how how little we still sort of know about the project. Um, we've got two trailers that really don't tell us a lot and although I wasn't necessarily expecting gameplay there or really even another trailer, I still expected maybe some screenshots um, of, of something, um, maybe even the reveal of who is playing the female lead character uh, maybe introducing her up onto stage um, or seeing sort of uh, pictures of her being scanned in for facial recognition um, and potentially even seeing sort of the the model that they've built of her in some kind of uniform or um, some kind of outfit pertaining to her character um, so we're not gonna we're not gonna find that out at all. Um, all we got was a very cryptic um, poster, the the sort of five starred web picture um, with bridges underneath it, which is obviously the organisation that Guillermo del Toro's um, character works for um, and is associated with. Um, so yeah. What do we what do we think about that? That's that's come as quite a quite a surprise to me. Um, I'd be intrigued to to get your views on that and what you think um, about Death Stranding not being involved at E3 at all. Let me know. On the other side of things, though, I want to talk very briefly about Metal Gear Survive, and I think this will make some kind of appearance at. E3. In terms of gameplay, probably not, because what else can they really show us? We've got uh, the sort of half an hour um, video of just people running around hunting zombies and building a few kind of makeshift walls and fences that then got broken down. Um, and I don't really think there's a lot else that they can show us just in gameplay. I'm thinking that they will lean more towards a second trailer rather than gameplay. Now there might be elements of gameplay within the trailer, but I think the trailer itself will need to show us more of the world that these characters now inhabit. Um, give us more understanding of why we are all banding together to survive um, because we've just sort of seen weird crystallized zombie things attacking an area um, we don't really know who or what they are so some kind of understanding as to more so what they are would would be quite nice. I think the more likely reveal that they will show us is more along the Metal Gear side of things. Obviously at the end of the first trailer we just heard the screech which was clearly coming from some kind of mech, some kind of large mech so it can really only be a Metal Gear and I think that needs to be the thing that Konami used to try and draw people back into this. They got a lot of negative feedback and I think if they are seriously wanting people to spend hard-earned money on this game they need to do all they can to try and win back at least a small section of the fan base to truly invest in this game. Um, I, I personally think that what they will do is kind of do almost like a greatest hits thing for the Metal Gears and probably include all of them um, maybe then with a new one as the main Metal Gear and just have it sort of strewn with Metal Gears throughout time um, so there will probably be Ray and Rex um, there will be Sahelanthropus there will be Zeke um, going probably all the way back as far as the Shagohod and then they will probably put some kind of brand new Metal Gear in at the very end of the game for you to defeat. 
Um, it would be very nice as well, a um, little bit of fan service to actually incorporate building your own Metal Gear into the game as well to help you survive. Um, that might just be me wishful thinking, but uh, you never know. They need to do all they can in order to win people over. Um, I am tempted to try the game. Um, but a lot of it is going to depend on whether they can really sell it to me between now and the release. And also how much they are wanting to charge. If it's going to be a £40 game, then no way I'm running for the hills. I will not be touching that. But if it's sort of 15 20 then I will be very tempted to, to try it out and, and see what it's like. It, it's piqued my curiosity but it hasn't really completely won me over yet so who knows maybe e3 will be the time for konami to really win over people like me who are still on the fence um what do you think about metal gear survive in general are you looking forward to the game probably not because i don't think many people are but are you at least on the fence like i am and sort of waiting to see what um konami do at things like e3 and tgs um or are you are you willing to get the game regardless because it's a metal gear game and you love the franchise do you want to be just seeing any metal gear that you can um let me know let me know what you think konami will um release at e3 with regard to metal gear survive and let me know what you think about the lack of death stranding at uh, E3 as well, and any other E3 bits and news that uh, that you feel needs to be shared out there, please let us know in the comments. Please also give a like to this video if you like what you see, and please subscribe as well to the channel. I am that British guy, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.